Welcome to Mental Health Minute. There are lots of ways to communicate with others. Let's say you are working with a group on a presentation for class. One person in your group has taken over and has chosen the topic without any group input. You feel the topic is all wrong for the assignment. What can you do? You could sulk and stop participating. You could get mad and yell at the person who has taken over. You could also just go along with it knowing that your group is going to struggle. However, none of those options will really get what you want, a voice in the group and a presentation you can be proud of. Assertiveness is a healthy way of communicating. It's being straightforward with others while being honest and respectful. It can help you do the things you want to do, like sharing your opinions or feelings and asking for what you need or want. Communicating assertively allows you to offer your ideas or suggestions, stand up for someone else, or even say no without feeling guilty. In our group project example, you could calmly look at the person taking over and say in a kind but firm voice, I think the topic does not match the goal of the assignment. Let's talk about it more as a group before we decide. By being assertive, you can value yourself, exercise confidence, and be heard. It's a very helpful way to work out disagreements and solve conflicts. Try to find an opportunity today to practice communicating assertively.